My name is Sarah Ackerman, and this is my food allergy story. I was first diagnosed with a peanut and tree nut allergy when I was a year and a half old. All I did was wipe some peanut butter on my face, and that's all it took for me to have an anaphylactic reaction. I never even ate it. Well, ever since then, I have been growing into and out of food allergies. My current list is peanuts, tree nuts, soy, sesame, shellfish, fish, legumes, and mustard. This past spring, I went with FAIR on its inaugural Courage at Congress trip. As I met with my representatives to advocate on behalf of the over 32 million people with food allergies, I kept shocking them with the details of my worst anaphylactic reaction to date. When I was away at college, I got takeout with my friend. I ate a couple of french fries and immediately knew that something was very wrong. The panic set in as I went through every question that I'd been asking restaurants for my entire life. I couldn't figure out where I went wrong. Well, after an AviQ and ER visit and my parents quickly making their way from New York to Boston, I learned I didn't do anything wrong at all. Turns out there wasn't anything I was allergic to on the menu. After the restaurant closed each night, the staff thought it would be fun to fry Snickers bars in the same oil that they fried the french fries in. I sometimes get surprised when people are shocked by that story. I'm lucky that I'm surrounded by friends and family who understand the severity of my food allergies. I rarely need to explain things from the beginning at this point in my life, and I often forget that the details of a life-threatening reaction from cross-contamination are shocking to a lot of people. That's one of the many reasons that I speak up about my food allergy experiences. Food allergies are so common these days that most people know someone who is allergic to something, but that doesn't mean that they understand what a food allergic person goes through every single day. <laughs> Makeup products, hair products, air fresheners, wipes, drinks, medications, food. Those are just some of the many, many items that my family members and I have spent hours researching and reading ingredient labels for. Unless you're living it, it's tough to understand the day to day. When I was growing up, I was often embarrassed by my food allergies. I was hesitant to speak up at the risk of being excluded from things. Looking back, I realized the only one that I was hurting was myself. None of my friends cared about the peanut butter sandwich I couldn't eat or the Chinese food that they couldn't eat while I was with them. I was awkward and uncomfortable whenever anybody would bring up my food allergies in any way even if they were just trying to keep me safe or gain a better understanding. Well, now I realize that my food allergies have shaped who I am. Without them, I wouldn't have created my blog, Girl Behind the Hive, where I share all of my food allergy experiences. I wouldn't have gotten to work with a war magazine and Condé Nast to create a video of my food allergy story, which just goes to show how important it is for people to share their experiences. If someone told 13-year-old me, that I created a video with over half a million views where I talk about kissing with food allergies, I never would have believed them. <laughs> I'm a big believer in people sharing their experiences, both good and bad. But I think within the food allergy community, the positives are so important. I love seeing food allergy victories, whether it's a mom making her first top eight free birthday cake, a new allergy friendly company, or a child speaking up about their own allergies for the first time. I often meet parents of children who have food allergies and they always ask me the same question. How do you do it? To be honest, I'm still figuring that out. While my food allergies have made me the confident and outspoken person I am today, I can pretty much guarantee one thing. If you asked my family and friends to describe me, the phrase food allergic wouldn't be in their top 100 adjectives. They may be an important part of who I am, but I don't let my allergies define me or stand in my way. <laughs> Thanks for listening to my food allergy story. And remember, you are not alone.